Good evening. Uh, welcome to episode number 635. The topic today is a very simple one. What are you grateful for? Before I jump into that and explain what my master plan is behind it, uh, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and what I'm about. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help women create balance and love life and business because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine and being in, the, in support of the Divine Feminine inspires and drives my work. Excuse me, it also inspired these talks that I started doing about two and a half, two, two years and a few months ago, called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. And today we're episode number 635, so there's plenty of them out there to watch. And today's topic actually is a non-gender based topic, kind of obviously if you can tell by the title. So, oh, hi Mary. So grateful to have seen me in person last weekend. Thank you, I appreciate that. That was a pleasure on my part too, so it was nice to chat. Um, oh, by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, you're wondering, who am I talking to? This is a Facebook Live first. So I'm doing this on Facebook Live, then I post it to my business page on Facebook and then to YouTube. So if you're watching it on YouTube, you have no idea who I'm talking to. So next time, watch me on Facebook Live at 5 p.m. Pacific time, usually. Although today's a late one because I was actually, I'm grateful that I was out seeing a friend of mine uh, perform her debut concert um, launch a new CD, brand new stuff, it's pretty amazing. Anyway, I might get to that later, we'll see. Anyway, so this episode is 635, and the question is, what are you grateful for? Now, I'm going to plug something, of course, because <laughs> I'm grateful for that too. Um, gratitude, let me preface it by saying, gratitude is a profoundly powerful, elegant, and simple tool that can change your life. Yes, it's that big. And I don't just mean saying thank you when somebody gives you something. I'm talking about gratitude for life. I've used gratitude a lot in my own life and forgotten to as well. So I'm not perfect at this by any means, but I have become more um, consistent because I've used the tool to remind myself and I'm gonna give you that uh, information now. Um, actually, one of my courses uh, called Your Best Life, which I'll put the link in the comments for, one of the eight, is eight? Seven. One of the modules, <laughs> I can't remember seven or six, seven or eight. One of the modules in that is about gratitude. And I recommend to, if nothing else, start with a gratitude journal. But I actually recommend better than that is a gratitude jar. And I have, I have mine here, so I thought I'd, I'd do a show and tell. This is my, as you can see from the front, gratitude jar. And as you can see, it's full of little bits of paper. This is um, just since January 1st, or actually it's about the 5th of January. So it's basically almost two months worth. Obviously, I'm gonna need a bigger jar. <laughs> That's an implant ahead. But the truth is by doing a gratitude jar, particularly, I've become very aware how powerful it is because gratitude journals are great and just saying gratitude is a good start. But frankly, if you can do something more physical, more tangible, more getting involved with your hands, it tends to create more embodiment in the experience. It's true of anything in life. You know, you know, you know the theory about how to ride a bike, but until you ride one, you won't know what it feels like and you won't know how to do it. So it's the practical experience of doing things that makes the difference. And for gratitude, writing it out by hand versus computerized is much more powerful. Yes, that's the, in fact, you're marrying, you're jumping ahead of me, but thank you for saying that. Yes, you, really, you got the jar idea, so you, can, so you can reach in for support. Yes, you're jumping ahead, that's okay. Um, <laughs> gratitude is something that we forget to do as human beings. We get caught up in life, we get so busy, so focused, and we forget to do things. By having a routine, a ritual, a daily practice of gratitude, which is what this gratitude jar is for me, I remember even, I mean, the other night, I think I was actually going to bed and I went, hang on a second, I didn't do my gratitude jar. And I got out of bed to do it, to finish it, so I could go back to bed. So it was kind of like a trigger to remember to do this. So every day I do, actually it's a minimum for me, I write down three things I'm grateful for on a different piece of paper. And I have to have a stack of you know, props, not carrying over. A stack of note paper, not not post-its. These are actually just um, you don't want to post-its. That's gonna stick to everything. These are just not different color notepads because it creates more variety. And on each piece of paper, I put down. I usually put the date as well, just to remember when I did something, so I have something to refer back to. And then so I am grateful for, and then write down what I'm grateful for. Do three of those every day at least. Put them in the jar. Again, show and tell, in the jar. And it creates a consistency of gratitude, and it creates a. Um, frequency, that's the word we're looking for, of gratitude. And by having that in place, it creates a, I want to say vibration, frequency, attraction, all these fancy words that are spiritual, 
But the reality of what it's going to do by having gratitude as a play out is like when you're grateful for things, you tend to notice more things to be grateful for. And when you're grateful for more things, it's even better stuff shows up. It's almost like a, um, it's like a, it's like an avalanche in reverse, <laughs> in a way. Because in a way, what it is, is you start building momentum. And as you do more and more of it, there are more and more good things you ought to be grateful for. Like tonight, just to touch base. Um, I was, I saw, a, I saw an invitation, I had an invitation to go see a friend of mine in Santa Monica um, do, a, do her first, well, again, I don't know the truth of that if it's first, but her CD release party, basically. She, she sang the, the songs from the album, which was very powerful and great music and great lyrics, very inspirational stuff. Um, hang on. Yeah. I'm going to plug, since it's my friend, Monique, I'll plug her stuff. This is, this is the CD. Monique has actually got, she's serious, she um, appreciated me on the cover. Anyway, it's called um, The Sovereign One, and it's a great CD. I recommend it highly. So go to uh, Monique, M Monique DeBose, D-E-B-O-S-E, music.com. That's where you can find out about it. Anyway, that's why I want to see her tonight, a CD release party, and see a bunch of friends there, which is wonderful. And for that, I really felt grateful. I mean, even walking in, I felt gratitude just welling up inside. So I'm using this as an example of what happened today, literally for me. But I want to use it as a reminder to you that even if it's as simple as you brush your teeth this morning, or you meditated, or you got to work on time, or you ate healthy one day today, or in fact, you ate at all today, you can use anything you want that you can honestly be grateful for as one of your three minimum reminder practices or gratitude practices to remind yourself that you're grateful. And so by doing this every day, and ideally f forever, I mean, I'll say you do it for a year because that's, that's what the Your Best Life, the program I have, which I'll put in the comments again, helps you with. It's like, it gives you like a year's plan. Um, but it can go forever. And why would you not want to give thanks every single day of your life? This is not a homework assignment. This is a lifestyle choice. And by having gratitude, yes, at times it may be we don't have a chance to write it down, but to have the gratitude vibration or the mindset running inside, you'll voice your gratitude to situations and circumstances you're in and to people in your life more evidently, more obviously, and more frequently. And that is a way to find your way through to having more abundance in your life, to having more joy in your life, having more love in your life. Yes, even love can come from gratitude. So my encouragement to you Thank you, Mary. So you're grateful that I do these videos and honor both masculine and feminine. It is my, my, um, it's my calling. I was talking to a couple of friends of mine tonight at the concert before she started, because it was getting, it was hard to talk after that. Um, and I was telling her about the shift that's happening in my messaging that's going more towards helping women own their feminine beyond just relationship centric conversations. And she was feeling a lot of resonance with that. And I've actually had a lot of good feedback about that, for which I'm very grateful just to stay in alignment with this message. So this is a simple reminder that gratitude is a key that will change your life. Again, I'll put a link in the comments for the, uh, it's, a, it's a, it's not a course, it's a playbook, I guess you'd call it that. But basically, it, your best life is a seven, I think it's seven, I can't remember, seven or eight, I've got two from programs, one, seven, one's eight. I, can, I make mistakes on that. But the truth is, it's a powerful program. And in there is the gratitude step, that's one of the steps. There's a lot more in it than that. But that's, that's one of the, that's why I'm giving that one for free. The other six or seven, you have to get the program to get the rest of them. But the right gratitude chart, if you did that alone, it will make your life a lot better. Your best life? Maybe. But I recommend my, your best life as my offering to you something to check out as well. Um, and that's really about it. Gratitude is a powerful tool and we underestimate the power of gratitude. Stop underestimating and start being thankful. It will change your life for the better. So having said all that, um, I thank you for being with me. Thank you, Mary, for your input and comments. I appreciate that as well. And if you want to watch me live and interact with me like Mary did, you have to come and join me on Facebook Live, usually around 5 p.m. Pacific time is my usual commitment to doing this. And you can find me on facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. On Facebook, the replays go on to different places, including my personal page. Oh, hang on a second. You can comment on there. Let me see. Sometimes you're distracted by a complaint, so you write down complaints and then write three gratitudes so I can discard the comp complaint now overcome by gratitude. That is cool. So let me say that again. So basically, you sometimes you're overcome by a, comp a complaint, so you write down three gratitudes to, cor to counteract it or to e erase it, basically. And then you can discard the, c the complaint now overcome by the gratitude. That is very powerful. That's a great idea. I like that. Thank you. Yes, 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 Suzanne. Stop, underestima <laughs> Stop underestimating gratitude. It's a powerful key. So again, um, 
replays. So again, on my business page is where the replays live most easily findable on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby dot author. And then for those of you on YouTube wondering where my broadcasts go, you're already finding them, I'm guessing. I have a YouTube channel, called, which is Barry Selby. Please find me there and subscribe. And there's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. In there are all these broadcasts in reverse order. Um, there's also a podcast, but there's only the early ones that are up there so far, which is uh, Messages from the Masculine on iTunes. You can subscribe to that as well. And if you have any questions, comments about this broadcast, please send through, either put them in the comments below or message me over social media. And again, I'll put a link in the comments for the Your Best Life um, playbook. It might be the best thing you've ever got. I'm biased, what can I say? So with that, I thank you for watching. I will see you again tomorrow, probably 5 p.m. Pacific time, unless something strange happens, but it should be around that time. And uh, I thank you for watching, and I will see you again tomorrow. Take care.